guys, Ali here. So I want to talk today about how we can break our food addictions and our habits in relationship to food addictions and specifically carbohydrate addictions, because I guarantee we're not addicted to steak and bacon. processed foods. Most of us, most of our lives have been eating incorrectly and not eating the proper human diet. So what that has resulted in is us being addicted to junk foods, ultra processed foods, and now we're trying to get our health in order we need to change some habits and we need to have like the right mindset to do so or else we're just going to totally fail at it. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video, just some points that you can implement in your life so that if you're doing a keto diet, a carnivore diet, how to be stick to it or if you're starting it, how to stick to it and be successful at it. So the first thing you need to know before you go is you actually have to understand like why are you doing it? Like what's your exact reason? Like it has to be very personal to you. If you don't have like a very good personal exact reason for doing something you're you're not you're going to fail at changing your habits you're going to fail at um trying to handle what you're trying to handle so for me when i was trying to change i'll give three examples one i was a smoker a heavy smoker for approximately 17 years i quit i wanted to quit smoking multiple times but i never had a good enough reason like it was always in my mind that i should quit smoking at the same time i didn't want to quit smoking so i wanted to quit smoking but i didn't want to quit smoking i needed a valid good enough reason to stop. And that was a pregnancy. Okay. So you're like, well, that's a pregnancy that that's obvious. Right. So that was my big motivation and my big reason. And it was very easy to stop. The funny thing is when you have a good enough reason to do something, all of the reasons that you're scared of stopping that thing, like, like the side effects or the withdrawal symptoms, they actually, in all three reasons, all three things I'm about to tell you aren't there. They're, they're just going to go away because your mind is more powerful than the cravings in your body. You are so much more powerful than cravings and withdrawal symptoms. Uh, number one, I quit smoking. I had no withdrawal symptoms. I had a valid, good enough reason. The next thing, going to carnivore. I will say I tried keto on and off for many years and I could not stick to it. And carnivore, this lifestyle, this way of eating, I've been easily able to stick to. I, you can be very concerned going on to a low carbohydrate diet that you're gonna get keto flu or withdrawal symptoms because you're actually getting away from those carbohydrates. So, and the foods that you're addicted to, and it's possible that that happens. But again, for me, I had a big enough reason. I was like physically at rock bottom. I was doing not good mentally and I had no other choice. I'm like, this is it. I have to do this. I've tried everything else. I was so obsessed about my weight. And honestly, when I started eating this way, I had zero symptoms, maybe some leg cramps once in a while, um, like very little things, but the big worry that people have of eating this way, it wasn't there. There was very little symptoms. Again, I had a big enough reason. I had to change. I had to change my life. Something because it was just not fun. I was not happy and I needed to change. I didn't realize when I started though, all of the changes that would happen. You might not know what's going to happen, but I had a reason in mind of why I had to do it and it was strong enough. And so I stuck to it. But the funny thing is specifically in this way of eating, uh, it's so easy to stick to. Okay once you actually get into it. So my third example, funny enough, is coffee. I was so, the reason I didn't stop coffee earlier, because I've been drinking coffee. I do a little decaf here and there, but like hardcore coffee addict, that's me. If I start drinking coffee again, I will easily get up to a pot of coffee a day. So I had to quit cold turkey. And later I'm going to talk about doing things in moderate, like slowly backing down. But for me, I had to do coffee. So if you're like a rip the bandaid off person, maybe you need to do that too. I had no withdrawal symptoms. I felt like a little fuzzy headed for a little while. I felt a couple of days a little bit more tired in the morning and that was it. And then I was done. And for me, the results were so dramatic, which I've covered in another video. And so that just kept me to it. But I didn't, I'm like, I have to change. And so my mindset was correct. I have to change. I have to quit drinking coffee. If I don't quit drinking coffee, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm trying to heal my Hashimoto's. And I believe the only other thing I can do is quit drinking coffee. Like what, I mean, in terms of getting something out of my diet. So again, I had a good enough reason. I wanted to lower the Hashimoto's markers. So there you go. You have to have a good enough reason, like understand why you're doing something like, and it has to be really personal to you. By the way, if you're coming to carnivore just to lose weight, that's not a good enough reason. You're not going to stick to it. Um, you need to have a good enough reason. Okay. Two. You need to get off of like, if you're coming into this is like, it's another fad diet or it's another yo-yo diet, or I'm only going to do it for 12.5 days and I better lose hundred pounds. You're not going to succeed. Again, think of number one, what is your reason? But definitely don't go into it. This is, we all have like a habit of dieting. 
we like to go into a diet. We want to lose weight quick. We need a quick fix. That's not this. That's not this. If you are on the proper human diet spectrum, that's not this. Go into it thinking, okay, this is a huge lifestyle change. Again, goes back to your mindset, why you're doing it. You need to realize it's a it's a lifestyle that we're changing because we need to get our health in order. If we don't do this, we're going to remain sick. We're going to remain type 2 diabetic. We're going to have our autoimmune conditions. We need to do this to resolve our health, and that could be a long journey. Yeah, just have the correct mindset going into it that it's not a yo-yo diet. It's not another quick fix. It's a huge lifestyle change that you're doing. That's not to say that once in a while... And I know strict carnivores are going to hate me for saying this. If you need a treat, you can have a treat. Don't call it a cheat. Again, it's the mindset. Uh, and I learned that one from Dr. Kills. Never call yourself cheating because that's very negative. Call yourself treating. I'm treating myself this one time. I'm going to get back to that in a second, a little bit later in the video. All right. So here is the next thing. You got to stop the negative self-talk. You got to stop talking to yourself negative. I'm a loser. I'm fat. I can't lose weight. I am not successful. I am a failure. All these things. And it doesn't even have to be that extreme, but you know what self-talk you do to yourself and the negative effects that it creates in your mind. Maybe you don't know the negative effects, but here's the point. Not do that. Just stop. And when you start to tell yourself something negative, turn to positive. I am successful. I am good. I do good. Um, I can lose weight. I'm not ugly or I'm beautiful. Don't say I'm not ugly. Say I'm beautiful. Uh, I'm successful. Don't say I'm a loser. Do you get what I'm saying? Like this negative self-talk we will, it just ruins everything. Speaking of negative self-talk, this might be a trigger to emotional eating. So we got to stop it. We got to keep the things and triggers out. So let's say you think I'm a loser. I'm not successful. I can't do this. You're just going to go to your fridge. You're going to go to your local McDonald's and you're going to get your McFlurry. Do you get what I'm saying? To like ease your emotions that you have about yourself. So we can't do that. We have to, again, have the correct mindset. And by the way, negative self-talk is a terrible habit. It's, it's terrible. So you have to stop doing that. And if you're not doing that, great. But I'm sure at some point in your life you have, and there's enough people that do that. So I hope that this message gets them. We just got to stop. Don't believe it. It's not you. you. You're not a negative person. You're like a good human being. You just have these thoughts in your head, however they got in there. So just start saying good things that are actually true. You are so much more powerful than you are have any clue. And so if you put your power towards negativity, you're going to have the negativity. So you need to put your power towards your positivity and start making your life better and better each day by being more and more positive. So I think the huge habit that we're trying to get away from when we come to a carnivore diet is actually eating terribly. And we are all, most of us, especially if we've been living on a standard American or Western diet, we are highly addicted to garbage. We're, we are addicted to toxic foods that are making us sick. I'm not going to get into the vegetable debate here. If you like vegetables, eat them. I'm more talking about the ultra processed refined foods. And I believe it's like 85%. There's some ginormous percentage of food that's in a grocery store that should not be there. And it's made by big food and we are addicted to it. It's specifically made by scientists so that we eat it and eat a lot of it and keep eating it and keep coming back and buying it. And it's really terrible that the industry is set up that way. So we need to just, you know, give it the middle finger and we need to get unaddicted to these foods. We need to regain our health. So with that said, we need to stop being addicted to food. However, it's kind of hard when you're starting a new way of eating. It could possibly be hard if you're like, okay, I'm never going to eat these foods ever again. Because then you might get like a little obsessed about it. You can't, you can't go in your mind saying, I can't have this. I can't have this. I can't have this. So maybe as a habit changer, set up for yourself. Okay, once a week, I will have this one treat. Not a cheat. Again, not a cheat. I'm going to have this one treat once a week. And so you can stay the course the rest of the week. You know, it's, it's, um, you want to do consistency over perfection because again, let's say you go back to the negative self-talk or something happens emotionally. You're like, Oh, I want to really eat that thing. It makes me feel better. Okay. That's because we are addicted to these carbohydrates. It gives us like a dopamine hit. We feel better. We feel better, even though it's doing terrible things to our bodies. So we have to stay, get away from that. But I'm, I'm just saying like, as like a crutch or a way while you're getting through the carbohydrate addiction, tell yourself, okay, I don't tell yourself you can never have something. Tell yourself I can have something here. Or if you really want something, make it inaccessible in your house, but you have to like go out and get it, then do that. But like walk there. Don't just like take your car to Walmart. Like 
make it a place you have to like go out and walk. And by the time you probably get there, you might not want it anymore. So don't say you can't have it. Make it a little bit inaccessible or give yourself, okay, I will have it at this time once a week. There is a point that that might create more, that will create more carbohydrate cravings. So that might be a little bit harder. I'm just trying to give you an example of how to help if you're trying to get over your carbohydrate addictions and not saying you can never have something. If you can never have it, it's going to totally fail. You're going to, it's going to fail because you're going to be obsessed about it. So that's my solution to that. By the way, the longer that you do this way of eating on the proper human diet, be it carnivore, ketovore, keto, it's going to get easier and you're not going to really want to eat these things very fast, by the way. So these are just some tips to help you get there. So when you are trying to get over bad habits and specifically in relationship to your eating habits, you need support. Any addiction, you need support. Where you can get support, some ideas are like here on YouTube. We do live streams all the time. Come and chat with us. We answer questions. We have fun and we joke. It's just a fun community to be a part of and it helps to keep you accountable to the changes that you're trying to make in your life. Another place, there's Facebook groups that you can be in. You can ask questions. People are generally great in the carnivore community and they're generally going to help you out. Um, not so much negativity in relationship to trying to help people break their addictions with relationship to food. Uh, Dr. Kiltz, he has a free group that you can be in. It's called Kiltz is Mighty Tribe. Ken Berry, I'm in both those. I'm in this Ken, uh, Dr. Kiltz's group. I'm also in Ken Berry's Proper Human Diet group. It's a couple dollars a month, maybe five or seven dollars a month to be a part of that. And in that group, you have coaches that can coach you along and help you. Uh, you also have access to Ken Berry's weekly members only live stream. So those are places that you can go and get your questions answered and be a part of a team. So what I'm going to say is at the end of all that, at the end of all that, Carnivore for me is the easiest way to eat and stick to this carnivore way of eating. Do I sometimes eat something that's not like strictly carnivore? Yes, but I always go back to the basics and it's just so easy to stick to and do and regain your health and maintain, maintain it. I have never done a diet, a diet and stuck to it my whole life. So I've done like various quick fixes. I've never addressed the actual addiction of the food. And when you eat this way, when you eat on the proper human diet, you will address the food addiction and you will never want to go back to eating the other stuff. Even if you do give yourself a treat once in a while, because you'll know how to stay away from it forever, forever, forever. And you're going to feel so much better. I have a passion to help people. I have suffered bad eating, uh, bad menstrual cycles, uh, headaches, backaches, so proper and chronic inflammation in my body for many, many years in days my life was changed by eating this way and so i'm putting these videos out there because i want to help people because we're all in different places in our journey and i want to make sure that you can like stick to this way of eating the biggest thing for sure is changing our habits and our mindset um we can change our food but if we don't change our habits and our mindset and actually like how we're tackling this uh, you're not going to be successful so i really hope that this video helped a little bit or gave you some tips if you are struggling a little bit and um I hope it helped. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I would like a like and for sure a subscribe on my channel and uh, I hope to talk to you soon.